Hello, Big Boys Coin DIY. Thanks for joining me today. What I'm going to be doing today is uh, an unboxing on something I bought this morning. Uh, this isn't a sponsored video in any way. Uh, I bought this out of my own money. Uh, what it was, I was jet washing my pond out yesterday and uh, my jet wash actually, well, it didn't blow up, but the hose blew up on it and it was going to be more expensive to replace the hose and lance than it would be to purchase a, a newer model. My, my jet wash what I had was it was quite old, it was uh, probably six, seven years old so it had had plenty of use so I decided to look in and have a look at some reviews on uh, different sorts of jet washes and I actually found this uh, jet wash on the uh, Argos website and it's in the sale at the moment for £79.99 so I uh, I went out and uh, purchased it this morning it's the Nilfisk C110.7 the model uh, so you get a few accessories with it I'll just have a look up here now the pump pressure is 110 bar, there's 440 litres an hour, it's 6 kilograms in weight, it's 220, 240 volts, and it's 1400 watt. And uh, you get actually two years warranty on this as well. So you look on the thing, you get uh, two changeable nozzles, an extender lance, you get the spray foam bottle with it. You get an inline water filter what you put on before the water goes into it. You get a salt brush, a five meter uh, five meter pipe and you get the patio cleaner as well. got the quick and uh, easy couplings on it and I think the uh, the pump is actually aluminium on it uh, I'll just do an unboxing and then uh, we'll see what uh, what you get inside the box right so in the smaller box you get the the car washing brush and you get the patio cleaner which needs uh, a little bit of assembly so I'll go through that in a moment we'll just have a look what you get inside the bigger box now and then in the box you do need to do uh, a little bit of assembly you get the handle uh, there's the foam foam lance detergent bottle you get the wheels you get the two lance piece, two piece lance you get the actual machine itself and you get the uh, the holes. So I'm just going to do a bit of a little bit of assembly now. Right to put the handle on, you just slide the handle on from the front, and then there's two two screw holes in the back. And you get the screws with it. You slide the handle on till it clicks, and then you just put the two screws in and just uh, nip them up. with a screwdriver just till it's tight, you don't have to over tighten because it is only going into plastic right, if I could just show you on this they are labelled right and left I just had to have a look then there's little slots on the bottom of the machine itself which correspond with these little bits here so what you need to do is line it up there and then that little piece slides in and locks into place and then you put a screw in the top I'll just show you again now just take that off again there's a little slot on the bottom there and there's a little slot on the bottom of the 
the wheel bracket and you just line the two up just a bit fiddly trying to do this with one hand just line it up slide it down into place and then there's a screw hole there to put the screw in right, I'll just put the two on now and then I'll get back to you in a minute right as you can see the the two brackets for the for the wheels have now been put on same thing again don't tighten it down too much at the top on the screw just make sure it's snug because it is only, only going into plastic and you will strip the threads in it the wheels now will push onto that piece there like so I'll just do that now and then uh, I'll show you the next stage right <clears throat> as you can see there the wheels are on they just snap on into place you have to push them all these lugs and make sure they click on in place they are quite pretty easy to do and you get the we'll call them hub caps what go on you've got two holes one there one there which have to lock into place with that there and as you can see that just clicks on into place make sure it's all the way there I'll we'll just do the one on the other side now see as it lines up just line it up in the thing click it on into place right we've put the wheels on now we've put the uh, name plates on, on the middles of the wheels now this is the lance what you get with the, with the machine to put the lance together it's uh, you got a little cross piece in there and a matching one on the end of there you just put them in together holding that piece push together and then twist you twist anti-clockwise and then that locks into place and it won't come apart and then you get the two different ends on the, now on the end of this you get a little spring release clip you push that in there till it clicks and locks into place now that won't pull off until you push that little button in push the button in and out it, out it pops I'll just show you with the other one now there's the other nozzle you push the button in lock it into place and then that's solid it, it won't come out of there and same again, push the little blue button in and pull it out. Easy as that. Right, I'll just show you how to connect the lance to the hose. You've got uh, metal fittings on the end of the hose. And I'll just read something out on what's on the hose itself. It says uh, 125 bar, 1812.5 psi, uh, and the maximum temperature is 40 degrees C or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The hose actually feels nice, it feels like a rubber hose. Uh, I know the, the last one I had had a like a plastic hose with it and it starts after no no time at all it does start whirring. But uh, same thing again for changing the hose with the nozzles nozzles to release it. That is where the the hose fits in. You've got a little blue spring clip again. And you take the nozzle, push it till you hear it click and snap into place. That won't come out of the until you push the blue button which releases it from the from the lance itself then it can be wrapped up and stored away neatly without having to trail this around with you as well simple as that I'll just show you again push hear the click that won't come out of there until you press the blue button and then it comes out can't be simpler than that I don't think and like a, the last one I had, you had to actually uh, screw it on with a 17mm nut 
to get it on uh, to attach to the lamp so that uh, that's a big benefit really as it's just push release on the lamps for me and another uh, good thing I've noticed about this the handle if you've got smallish hands the trigger isn't too far away from the actual grip itself and it's it's easy to pull you could pull that with one finger no problem there you see I'll just do it with my thumb to show you an example there's hardly any any spring pressure on that at all quite easy right, there's the the car washing brush same thing again that just oops pushes better taking that off that just pushes and snaps into place oh no I've just noticed with that though yeah with this there's a little notch like a little keyway I can't get the best light to show you there's a little keyway notch on the on the end of the gun there's a corresponding notch which you have to line up to get that to fit in see, like you get the little click there so that lines up so then that way you have it like that and there's the end of the gun I'll just check that one out I'll just try the spray bottle on it now see what uh, is that I still have a little notch in it to line it up the detergent bottle yeah that's the same you have a little notch about here which has to line up with that one on on the lance see clicks into place and you fill your fill your bottle up with your detergent and away you go I don't I haven't read the instructions but I'm, I would think that you put so much of the detergent in and then the water will uh, actually thin the detergent down and spread it around and that's it on on the end of the trigger there same again press it and it releases to come off just take that apart now because I won't be uh, using it today Also, you get a little needle, I don't know if you can see that there, that's for cleaning uh, in the little nozzles in the end of the, if it gets blocked or doesn't spray, just fits in there, like so, so you can clean it out. I'll just show you now on, on the front of the machine there. There's actually a little filter, gauze filter in there. I don't know if it'll come out. But there's a little gauze filter. Like so, I just have to use a little prying tool to get it out. It's got a little mesh on it. So that'll stop any bits of grit from going into the machine, the motor. Uh, and then there's the bit what fits your hose pipe. Just make sure that when you put it on, there's a little rubber seal in there. Make sure the little rubber's in there. And then that threads onto the. Like so. And you tighten it up, obviously. And then it's got the quick release for the hose pipe on there. Let me just have a look at the back of the machine now. That's the outlet there for where you. Your pipe will go to your uh, trigger on the jet wash. And it's got these little compartments. I think they go that way in. Little compartments on there for holding those on. Right. That's all the bits attached to the machine. The water bottle clips on nicely at the back. 
and then you've got your little nozzles will fit onto the back of the machine your lance will fit on there in two parts so one part is stored on that side and then the other part is stored on that side it's quite a compact machine, it won't take up much room in uh, your workshop when you're storing it or in your shed the only one, one thing I could think of being as a problem is this sticking out a little bit too far I mean it sticks out uh, I would say at least two and a half inches from the machine that could be a problem if it snaps you know if you're walking past it or trip over it and because it is only plastic at the end of the day that uh, could be a problem if it's if it snaps off but these are readily available anywhere and uh, they're quite easy to change and the threads on on that are plastic as well by the feel of it, yeah they're hard plastic you've got your on off switch there at the top I'm just going to have a look at the uh, patio washing brush now and uh, see what you have to do with that right this is the uh, little patio cleaner you get this piece in in with the machine and you get the little spray bar for underneath so what you have to do you've got that there same thing again there's a little notch what fits into the groove there you put that into there and you take this piece put that on push it into place and then that uh, tightens down like so and then this piece obviously with the force of the water will spin round it's quite stiff bristles on there as well so you can scrub the flags or your concrete driveways at the same time I do believe you can use these on, on uh, concrete brick walls as well also with this you do get another little cleaning needle this one seems thinner than the last one what you get just misplaced the last one and put them there right uh, there are the two cleaning needles what you get with the the machine the one this one is a lot thinner than the other one so this, the thicker one, is for cleaning the nozzles for the lance whereas this one is for cleaning the nozzles on the patio cleaner so that's all I can say, yeah the instructions are they're reasonably easy to follow if you, if you look at the instructions first then you will understand what they're saying uh, but apart from that, you do get a book which is in about six million different languages. So I'm going to uh, give this a test run tomorrow now, and uh, I'll film uh, when I'm using it to show you what it's like. like so I've got to finish uh, jet washing my pond out because my last one actually broke, because as I said at the beginning of the video. So I should uh, look forward to using this especially with the uh, patio cleaner with it as well and uh, the foaming glance that should be quite uh, quite good to use so right then if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please leave me a comment because uh, I believe YouTube at the moment do like uh, people commenting on videos so you can get it to a, a broader spectrum of people uh, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel then please subscribe to my channel I'll try to answer all comments as the best, best I can and uh, we'll see you again soon thank you for watching have a nice day